Hello, and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beardman. Today we're going to be looking at a concept built around physicsclassroom.com titled Motion Diagrams. It's in the topic of kinematics. All right, so first of all, uh, in a previous video, I explained how dot diagrams or ticker tape diagrams work. It's the first three and a half minutes of the, the acceleration video I'm linking in the top corner here. So take a look at that if you're not familiar with dot diagrams or ticker tape diagrams. Um, also, we learned about acceleration in that. You can watch the next uh, three minutes or so uh, if you would like some uh, input on that. But the basic idea of acceleration is how quickly is your speedom speedometer changing? So if you're going 120 miles an hour and your speedometer is sitting at 125 miles an hour, it's not changing at all. So there's no acceleration. Okay. But when you, when a race car or anything starts up off a starting line, it's going from zero to 10 to 20 to 30 to 40. That's the acceleration. How quickly is it doing that? Okay. And that's our idea when we get to acceleration, which is our second section. So the first section is uh, the apprentice level, or what, the first trophy, which I always call the apprentice level, uh, called dot diagrams with velocity vectors. So a couple things. First of all, make sure you start from the correct side. We're going to go through an example of that. But if it says it's moving left, start from the right and move towards the left. If it says it's going right, start at the left and move towards the right. Then make sure you're changing the spacing of your dots based on the speed. Okay, um, the faster it's going, the more space, the slower it's going, the less space. So here's a sample problem. <coughs> Excuse me. A rightward moving car slows down, decreasing its speed by five meters per second each second. Okay, so if it's a rightward moving car that's moving towards the right, that means we're going to have to start on the left over here. If it's slowing down, that means it's starting out going fast. So we want some, our dots to be far apart at the beginning because in one second it gets all the way from here over to here. Then they're going to start getting closer together because it's slowing down. So it's not going to go quite as far each second. Okay. And eventually they get nice and close together over here. Okay. So something like that is the one you would choose for a statement like that because it's going rightward, meaning from the left to the right. It's If it's slowing down, that means it starts out fast. It's going to go a long ways, and then it's going to get closer together. So that's the first thing you do is you uh, click, through, click on the option for which dot diagram to choose. Keep in mind, if it's moving at constant velocity, all your dots will be equally spaced because every second it's going the same distance. In the apprentice level here, the only thing you have to do other than this is list your um, vectors or your velocity vectors. Okay, so we start out, remember the longer a velocity vector, the faster you're going. So you're going out fairly fast at the beginning, so you'll have a nice long velocity vector. Then it's going to decrease by 5 meters per second. Well, that's a certain amount of length that it's going to decrease. So our next arrow will be about that much shorter. And the one after that, one second later, will be a little bit shorter. And the one after that will be a little bit shorter. And so on as they get shorter and shorter. Okay. Um, if it was, so just make sure the, uh, the vector, the line here is as long as it is fast. So this might be 50 miles an hour, uh, 45 miles an hour, meters, let's go meters per second. 50 meters per second, 45 meters per second, 40 meters per second. Well, that wouldn't get me to zero at the right time, but you got the idea there. All right, let's clear the screen and go on to the next one. Uh, almost everything I put on this next one is the same, except the title, and it's not clicking for me. There we go. Okay, so dot diagrams, again, for the dots. Remember to make sure that they're spaced like that. Rightward car moving slows down. So I got the same one here, but for this level, after we put on our dots, I'm going to make the dots uh, just black this time. So we got our dots here dot, 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 dot. Okay. Now it's going to ask for the acceleration vectors. Well, what's acceleration? Acceleration is how much the speedometer is moving each second. Well, how much is the speed changing each second? It's changing five meters per second each second. Okay, so 
the acceleration, how much does the speedometer change each second? It changes five meters per second each second. By the way, eventually that will be called um, five meters per second squared, as we looked at it in the uh, in the acceleration video. All right, so five meters per second per second, or five meters per second each second. So that means uh, our, we're going to have the same length arrow on each of these dots because it is always five. The question is, which direction is it? Well, let's draw our velocity vectors back on here real quick. So these ones you will not be drawing on the master level here. You'll be only drawing the velocity vector, okay? Um, but the question is, how much is it changing? So if we take this vector, and we're going to just draw it up here for a second, okay? So this vector we're just drawing up here. Okay, that's that vector. <laughs> third arrow that might have made it more confusing. But let's look at how much that changed. So it used to be this long, and now it's this long. So what happened to it? It got that much shorter. It got five meters per second each second, shorter each second. Five meters per second shorter each second. So the red arrow I just drew there, that's the change in the two, the change that happens each second. That is the acceleration vector because it's telling us how it changes each second. So if we, I'm going to, no, I'm not going to clear, I'm going to go and just draw it. So the acceleration here is going to be like this. That's how much shorter our blue arrow is going to get during the next second. Well, that doesn't change. It's still five meters per second. It's going to get five shorter each second. So we've already got one here. I won't draw another one. So all of these are exactly the same length. And notice they're going against the velocity. When you're slowing down, anytime you're slowing down, your acceleration has to be in the opposite direction of your velocity because it's trying to make the velocity smaller, or it is making the velocity smaller. That acceleration is making the velocity smaller, so it has to oppose the direction of the velocity. On the other hand, if it was speeding up, then the velocity and acceleration point the same direction. I'm pretty sure all the levels on here have the speed uh, increasing or decreasing by a set amount each second. That would mean <coughs> that would mean that your acceleration is always going to be uh, the same sized arrow all the way across. The big question is which way is the acceleration arrow facing? All right, let's move on to the master level, or sorry, to the wizard level. So the wizard level here has, um, a ch it calls it just challenges, but basically it's like the two things combined. You gotta put the dots on like we always did, you gotta put the velocity vectors on, and you have to put the acceleration vectors on, okay? I still have the same uh, things here, so let's get those all on. Except for this time, I decided we'd do a second example. We'd do a leftward moving car. I chose to do slowing down because I think slowing down is more challenging. So that will help you out with the things that are more challenging. So let's draw our dots in black here. So it's a leftward moving car. So the car is going this way, leftward, leftward, starts on the right, goes towards the left, and it's slowing down. So that means the dots are going to be far apart at the beginning, and they are gradually going to get closer and closer together. Okay. And that's probably not perfect, but you get the idea. All right, so then we got to do our velocity vectors. Then after you, it's a, after you pick the right dot diagrams, then you have to do your velocity vectors. Well, this first dot over here is moving to the left, and it's moving pretty fast. It's the fastest it's going to go. So we want a nice long arrow there. Then we see the speed decreases by five. So we get a slightly shorter arrow, followed by a slightly shorter arrow because it keeps decreasing in speed. A slightly shorter arrow, a slightly shorter arrow, a slightly shorter arrow, a slightly shorter arrow. Okay. And so that's velocity is getting uh, slower and slower as it goes along. Well, what direction is changing? Is it changing? Each of these is getting a little bit shorter. That means the acceleration, the change in velocity, 
is going against them. Okay, so it's going, each the next arrow is going to be about that much shorter. Uh, after the second dot here, the third arrow will be about that much shorter. After the third arrow, the fourth arrow will be about that much shorter. Okay, so every time about that much shorter. And each of these arrows represents an acceleration of five meters per second per second, or five meters per second squared. All right, don't forget if it's speeding up, the acceleration will be pointing the same direction as the velocity. If it's constant velocity, then there is no acceleration because the speedometer is staying in the same place. You're at 120, you're still at 120, you're still at 120. So there has been no acceleration. So you would have no arrows like this at all if there was constant velocity. You would still have uh, uh, velocity arrows, but they would just all be the same length because it'd all be 120, or they'd all be 37 or whatever they were. All right, enjoy puzzling these out on the Concept Builder. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, I hope to see you next time. Oh, if you like this, go ahead and click uh, like and subscribe. And we'll catch you the next time on the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man.